In eyes of the world, an average American engine is a pile of a big and heavy metal that is thirsty and does not perform all that well. While there are tens of various great designs from this country, some of them are truly that bad. In many cases, it is because of a selfish phenomenon more accurately known as cost cutting. <laughs> Chevrolet Vega 140 The 140 cubic inch inline 4 installed in the Chevrolet Vega is amongst the worst engine units from America. Reportedly, it resembled a pre-war tractor engine design which could still be fine if the engine wasn't that unreliable. Over time there was a carburetor fire risk, the aluminum engine block tended to twist due to oil and coolant leaks, also causing overheating issues. On top of that, they made hundreds of thousands of them. Ford Triton The Ford Triton series had a delicate issue. It's not that often to witness a problem with spark plugs, but these would either speed them out from the hood, or even skilled mechanics could not get them out. Combination of an aluminum head and a spark plug with steel thread shorter than normal was simply not suitable. Both materials expand at different rates, and eventually aluminum gives up first. <laughs> Cadillac V864 Dubbed the L61, the V864 was an engine with displacement on demand. This translates also as a cylinder deactivation, alternatively running as a 4.5 litre V6 or a 3 litre V4. The unit had a wide array of different sensors and solenoids with an ECU that would evaluate signals and perform accordingly. The computer, however, was too slow to keep up with the quickly changing driving conditions with a throttle by the injection system that also tended to over or underfuel the engine. It worked fine with the cylinder deactivation deactivate. It's the exclusive new V864 fuel injection, the standard gasoline engine for all 1981 Cadillacs. As you start out, all eight cylinders are in operation. As power needs lessen, the car automatically goes to six cylinders and then to four cylinders. When you need it, it instantly reverts to eight cylinders again. Oldsmobile 350 LF9 Constructed to beat the oil crisis in the 1970s, engineers from Oldsmobile were commissioned to build a diesel V8 that would be more fuel consumption attractive. The design was new, although there were some similarities with the petrol rocket 350 unit. Those were the head starts, for example, which proved insufficient for a high compression diesel. Fuel filter could not separate water from low quality diesel, which led to even worse head warpings, blown head gaskets, on top of engine's lame performance. GM122 Being a predecessor to the Ecotec unit, it is like a day and night comparing these two engines. The older guy is unreliable, notoriously eats head gaskets and is not powerful at all, which may reason why the Ecotec has nothing in common with it. It is also recommended to avoid backing them up with an automatic transmission. Mopar 2.2 this Mopar engine, when introduced, brought fancy things like aluminum head, overhead cam valve train and rubber timing belt. Many of its flaws were related to these features, as for example the engine coolant was inappropriate for multi-material engine as block was cast iron. Gaskets were breaking down, heads were cracking and poor carburetor design caused a lot of drivability issues and it did not get better with the turbo series. Cadillac HT4100 Unpowered and inappropriately designed, once more a typical story of an American engine. It had an aluminum block 
cast iron head and only made 137 horsepower. There was a special version for the Cadillac Alante with 173 horsepower, but they still had a major problem in common. After time, whether it is a broken gasket or other internal leak due to material porosity, water will eventually get into oil causing catastrophic scenario. It is said from the factory to use a GM recommended coolant with suitable additives to seal the cooling system. Dodge LH 2.7 V6 The Dodge 2.7 liter V6 was a good performing engine with a double overhead cam and even a variable intake length manifold in the Magnum version to create a supercharging effect. But the engine had a bad crankcase ventilation, due to which it was highly prone to oil sludge. There was a coolant leak issue too, which even worsened the oil sludge problem. Shortened oil change intervals should prevent this from happening.